Now let's talk about the two ideas that calculus was built based on. The first idea is the differentiation and the second idea is the integration. Let's learn what are those terms meaning. So differentiation or derivatives. Basically the differentiation is the derivative of a slope. If you go back to the example of the box, the guy who's pushing the box up the hill. So when you have a slope that's having a curvature, in this case, you're using differentiation to capture the rate of change. As we mentioned before, either how the position of the box is changing or how the force is changing with time or with the distance and so on. So differentiation is the derivative of a slope. And the derivative is only a fancy name that's been uh, associated with calculus to mean the curve slope. How steep is that curve? So that's basically the derivative. So as you remember from your high school mathematics, if you have a triangle shape, like a linear slope in this case, so you have um, a right triangle with a 90 degree angle in here. So the slope in this case is the rise over the run, as simple as that. But if we look into the right, assuming that we have um, a graph for miles per hour, so x-axis representing hours and y-axis representing miles. In this case, you have a certain curve. Let's say the problem is you have point A that you know it's x and y uh, numerals and you have point B that you know what kind of point in space, like let's say in this case 7 and 400 and A is 1.5 and 102. So the regular math problem would tell you what is the average rate between A and B. In this case, you use this, the slope equation, which is the rise over the run. In this case, you can say Y2, which is the Y point at location B minus Y point at location A over X2, which is X point at location B, in this case, almost seven, minus the x point at location a in this way you get the slope and that represents the average rate between a and b in the units of miles per hour well if you have the problem in a different way you have the miles on the y-axis and you have the hours on the x-axis and you have point c so as a calculus problem he would say what is the instantaneous rate at c so at point c what was the miles per hour for that vehicle speed, let's say. So in this case, you wanna use calculus in order to define or solve that problem. So that's for derivative. So basically derivative is only um, a fancy name for the curvature slope or a fancy name for steepness. How steep is that curve? For integration, if you wanna define the integration, it's basically the process where you cut up the area into tiny little sections and uh, you look into those small sections and add them up little bit by little bit in order to get the whole area. So you have an area that's complicated. It's not a linear area, obviously. And uh, you cut it into little bits, then you add those little bits together in order to get the whole area. So on the left, you have the uh, geometry problem. What's the shaded area? In this case, it's a rectangle. So you know that the, what is the width, which is five in this case, and what's the length, which is eight minus two and six. So width by length give you the area of that shaded area in meters square or in any, or inches square or any unit you're using. On the right hand side, you have what is the shaded area? So you have a curvature, which is more complicated uh, than the shape on the left. In this case, you wanna cut this area into small little segments to be able to identify what's the total area for that shape. If you look on the right in here, if you cut the area into infinite number of lines or of uh, almost like rectangles, so you can see you can split that shape under the curve into triangles and rectangles. 
you can add the triangle and rectangle and get the area for that specific segment and you continue until you get the area for the total shape so that's it we will apply we will learn how to apply the equations for differentiation and integration and uh, making our life easy when we face those kinds of problems in real life